As you're coming on the scope, will you just give me a shout out? Where are you coming in? Where in the world are you? Let's just put it that way. Great, awesome, stand me happy. Orlando, Maryland, Southern Cal, Tampa, wow. Finland, Oregon, Melissa from Ohio, Sweden. If you guys have never been on one of my scopes before, uh, will you just type in, um, let's see, boom. Mexico, hey Lynn. North Carolina, Phoenix, Alabama, Jilly Sue is in the house, awesome. Okay, awesome guys. Um, well, today's topic is um, basically something that I get a lot of questions on. And hi from Maui. Wow, good. I see, oh, there you go. I see some new folks. So if you're brand new, just pop, just type boom into the comment box, guys. North Carolina. I was just in North Carolina yesterday. I had, I spoke up there at a, uh, at the Christian um, Success Summit for Christian coaches. That was pretty cool. Boom. Hey, Angela. Atlanta. Awesome, guys. Six year fan. <laughs> You're so awesome, Jilly Sue. I just love you. Um, okay, guys, today's topic, just real quick, I want to reiterate uh, what we're going to be talking about seven ways to get more followers here on Periscope. Actually, it's going to be 10 ways, and I'm saving the best one for last. So you want to hang out and wait until I give the last tip because it is actually the best tip of all. Um, awesome. Welcome, help, welcome, guys. All right. Um, if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Kim Garst. I help businesses create more sales, make more money using social and digital media. I'm a best-selling author. I am also the creator of uh, one of the very first Periscope for Business courses. If you would like to know how to make money with Periscope, uh, go to scopingforbiz.com and you can get all the, the details. Um, chocolate hearts. Yes. I think they have almonds in them myself. Thank you, Danny. Or Dana, I'm sorry, Dana. Okay, guys, so we are doing a heart contest. Uh, I'm going to, one of the tips that I'm giving you right now, I'm going to implement uh, right now, live and in real person, you guys are gonna see uh, how to do this. Um, one of my tips, actually it's number, let's see, yes, number three. So um, if you think this is going to be valuable to you and to people that you know in your communities, um, swipe right, left, up, down, uh, tap on the little heart or the number of folks on the scope and share it. And I would like to invite you to share it to not only your Periscope followers, but also on Twitter. That's how I'm going to choose the heart contest uh, winner today, guys, uh, by the way, is who is going to share this? I'm going to, uh, those who share it, if you'll notice uh, in my title, I had my uh, Twitter handle in there, at Kim Garst. So when you share it, I'm going to get notification that you shared it. And I'm going to choose the heart winner um, from that um, as well as, you know, paying attention to who's given all the hearts. So we're kind of doing this in a couple of different ways today. Subi Zimmerman, awesome. Welcome, guys. Okay, the t there, I'm going to lay the groundwork for my tips by saying there's a couple of things that I think you need to do before you ever worry about getting more followers on Periscope. You need a professional photo. You know, I see a lot of people, and I know there's a it seems to be a glitch today where the photos are, you know, m missing for some. They're missing in action for some of us. Um, but I think you need a professional photo, guys. Um, and you know, a lot of times I see people who'll put a picture of their cat or their dog or whatever. Well, guys, if you're doing this for business, it's not that you don't your cat or your dog's not awesome, but you want people to connect with you. You don't want them chatting to your fur babies. So make sure you have a professional photo. Um, make sure you fill out your bio. It's incredible how many people don't to fill out their bios. So, um, and connect to Twitter. I'm seeing a lot of people who are making the mistake of, you know, using a phone number or, or not connecting to Twitter. This app is owned by Twitter, guys. So you want to make sure that you are connected to uh, your Twitter account so that when you have a scope, it actually is broadcast onto Twitter. 
So I'm loving that you guys are talking to, yes, put on your website. Yes, absolutely. Um, I see a lot of people who don't do that either. So that's kind of the groundwork for the rest of the tips that I'm getting ready to share with you. So professional photo, good bio, include your website, um, and then connect your account to Twitter. Those are three kind of, kind of ground. They're not my seven, but they're definitely things that you should do before you ever get to worrying about, you know, trying to amass a bunch of followers on Periscope. Um, I don't know. It's, it, I've heard several people today say that their photo is missing. Um, and I saw somebody earlier just giving um, Periscope a shout out and saying, hey, fix this. So hopefully they will fix it. Um, it's a pain. It's, you know, but it, it's just a glitch, I think. And they're it's something they're working on. Yes, connect your account to Twitter. Awesome. Yeah, Subi says agrees. It is a glitch. Okay, who's ready for the seven tips? And remember, I'm keeping the best one for the last. So hang in there with me. Thumbs up, you ready for some tips? All right, no Twitter account, well get one, get one, you need a Twitter account. Twitter is an amazing platform, awesome. Yeah, there you go, using Periscope without a Twitter account is like going to the pool without, I think it said no swimsuit. So yeah, make sure, that was a great comment. <laughs> you need Twitter, yes, okay. Um, me get rid of someone right quick. Trolls not welcome here, guys. Move, move on. We don't need it. Okay. Um, very first tip. So number tip one, tip number one, whichever way you want to word it, uh, is have a great title, guys. If you want people to come into your scopes and you know pay attention to what you're you're saying, you need a great title. You know you don't want to say, well, I'm you know no title. I've done it. I'm guilty, but try not to have no title or untitled. Make sure you um, have a great, uh, kind of like a headline. It's kind of like a blog post. You know, if you have a blog post that doesn't have a great title, most people aren't going to stop and pay attention and, you know, read your content. It's exactly the same thing. If you want people to come in and, you know, engage with you, you want a great title. Um, all right, number one, have a great title. Number two, Make sure you check the Twitter icon. So those of you who said you don't have a Twitter uh, account yet or you don't have um, it connected to your Twitter account, you've used a phone number, for example, then this um, is not going to be a great tip for you. But for everybody else that has connected to Twitter, uh, click the Twitter icon when you um, start your broadcast so that it's tweeted to Twitter. Now, why is that important? It's important because, again, when you hit broadcast, uh, it is published or tweeted onto Twitter and people can see it. So even though there's, I see 268 people live here on the scope, there's at least that many more guys watching this on the web because they have seen it be, because I've shared it onto my Twitter account and they click on the link and they're watching it via the web. So there's more live viewers that have the capability or more viewers, AKA live viewers, that are apps um, can see your content or see your scope if you share it to your Twitter account. So tip number one, have a great title. T tip number two, connect your Twitter uh, icon when you know when you start your broadcast tip number three ask for the share uh, you know I, I mentioned this earlier if, you, if you're um, haven't shared it already make sure you do swipe left uh, if you're on an iOS swipe up if you're on an Android click on the a number of folks in the in the scope all of those things work and uh, share it into your communities. Now, why is that important? It's because then you get into literally other people's communities. They can now, you can now have access or visibility into their Twitter followers, um, into their Periscope followers. You know, when somebody else says, hey, you know, this is good enough for me to watch, it's word of mouth, guys. It's word of mouth. And it's the best advertising that you could possibly get. So ask. Make sure you're asking people for in all of your scopes to share your scope if they think it's value add for their community. I mean, you don't want to beg, but you at least want to mention it. Um, and then tip number four, and this is something I haven't done yet in this scope, but and something I am, honestly have fallen down a lot on because you forget. But ask for the follow, guys. People come into your scopes all the time. They come in and out of scopes. So if you guys are not following me right now, I would love a follow. 
um, you know, it's, it's a call to action. Again, lots of times people simply don't know. They don't, uh, you know, they don't think about it. And again, they come in and out of scopes and you want to make sure that you ask for the follow. So if you're not following me, please follow me. I would, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, that's another thing too. You know, when people, when people are following and you ask for the follow, then when you have a scope, then uh, they get notification that you are in your your hosting a scope, which again, uh, you know, has the opportunity to pull that person back in. Maybe they'll get value. Maybe you start building a relationship with that person. Um, it's imp important to ask for the follow. So that's tip number four. All right, are we good? Everybody getting some value here? Thumbs up. I wish the follow button would pop up more often. I agree. Yay, I got some follows, some thumbs up. Awesome, awesome guys. Okay, tip number five um, is engage with others on the scope. In fact, there are people here that are, you know, obviously probably business owners. So if your ideal client, uh, ideal prospect is a business owner, uh, then you might want to be following some of the people that are on this scope. Better yet, you want to be talking to the, the people that are on this scope. See all these comments that are scrolling on the screen, guys? You need to be talking to each other. Um, I see so many amazing, thank you on the eyeglasses. <laughs> um, I, I see so many amazing conversations and, um, and, and relationships start up by simply engaging with one another on, yeah, there you go. Julie Sue says she's an engageaholic. It's critical, guys. This is probably, I mean, even though I'm saving what I thought was my best tip to, the, to last, this ranks right on up there. Engage with each other. That's what community is all about. That is, uh, you know, it's great for me to jump on here and say, okay, do X, Y, Z. But the real value is in the community of, uh, of you guys chatting it up with each other. So engagement, engage with others. That's tip number five. So I'm going to reiterate them in case you're brand new. Um, have a great title. Um, make sure that you check, check your uh, Twitter icon when you start your scope so that it's tweeted to, to Twitter. Tip number three, make sure that uh, you ask for the share when you start your scopes. And then ask for the follow. You know, ask other people to follow you uh, that are physically on your scope because sometimes they just simply don't think to do so. And then engage, 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 rinse and repeat. Engage, 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 rinse and repeat. That's so important. And then... Um, uh, tip number six, I'm just in, you guys, um, it's going to be interesting to see what you think about this one. S tip number six is you got to bring it. Now, what does that mean? Anybody know what I mean by that? Bring it. Just concise content and connect. You got to bring value, guys. You got to be useful. You know, you, if you're going to get on Periscope and you really want to build an audience and a community on Periscope, you've got to bring it. You got to have great content. You have to engage with um, with with your community. Uh, you have to have something of value that is either value based or useful in some way to the people listening to you. So bring it. Be genuine. Be real. Be who you are. Um, and it's so, so important. Yes, bring it. Be you. Great energy and vibes. It's about being concise, content, and connect. Yes. And I think it's also about, uh, you know, staying on track. Because I, I know when I first started, I did a lot of uh, rabbit trailing, you know, where I would, somebody would say something and I'd like, shoo, down that rabbit trail. But stay on track and try to keep the focus. So because people's time is limited and it's valuable. When somebody is tr giving you some of their time and attention, honor it, you know, and make sure that you are staying on track and giving the value that you promised in your scope title, which is, of course, one of the tips. Um, okay. Last tip. Everybody ready for this one? My nose is itching. Sorry. Maybe somebody's coming to see me. All right. Ready. I see some readies. Bring the love. Yes. Can see comments, but not Kim. All right. I'm, I'm up as tall as I can get without cutting my head off. All right. So everybody's ready. All right, guys. Um, I think the number one way to get more followers, absolutely the number one way, um, that I have found personally to get more followers here on Periscope is, I'm drawing it out. Okay. Number one way is to collaborate, guys. Collaborate with other people on 
Periscope. Um, the interesting part about the, the collaboration for me that I have found is that I've connected with people, amazing people that I had no frame of reference for who they were before Periscope. And, uh, and then I've connected with major influencers as well. You know, sometimes in, when you're um, in a niche, even though you know one another, it's still, uh, still one of those things where, you know, when you have a common interest like Periscope and you're helping and supporting one another, it just drives that relationship and engagement much deeper. So that is probably my number one value-based tip for you guys is collaborate. Reach out to other people. Reach out to influencers. If you want the attention of somebody that you feel is an influencer in your space, then get on their scopes, comment, engage, ask questions, share their stuff. I promise you, you are going to get their attention. Okay, spend time in people's scopes, adding value as a contributor, absolutely. So I'm gonna wrap it up and then I'm gonna take a few questions if you guys wanna ask me some questions. So seven tips again. Well, I had 10 really, but I, so I'm gonna give you the first three, you know, cause they're kind of groundwork kind of tips. Professional photo, I think you need a professional photo. I think you need to complete your bio to include a URL in your bio. Um, and then you need to be connected to Twitter because this is a Twitter app and it holds so much value um, to us if we have that added uh, uh, piece and, and that's groundwork kind of stuff. Um, but the seven tips across the board is have a great title. Make sure you uh, check your Twitter icon when you uh, you know start your scope so that it's tweeted and people can the people that aren't physically on the app can look can re, can watch it live on the web, which is important. Um, ask others to share when you start your scope. And then that, and tip number four, ask for the follow. You know, again, people come in and out of scopes all the time, so ask people for the follow. Um, engage with others on the scope. Huge, huge, huge. Um, that's the part of the collaboration tip, which was number seven as well. And then you absolutely have to bring it. You have to be value-based, be useful, uh, provide great content, stay on track kind of thing. And then collaborate is my number one uh, tip for you if you truly want to build uh, uh, amazing relationships on, on Periscope. The neat part about the collaboration tip, the thing that I didn't mention is, you know, once you start collaborating with other people, then they mention you on their scopes. And, you know, I notice that I'm constantly being mentioned now on other people's scopes simply because I've collaborated. I've been working with other people trying to build out deeper relationships and not only, not only for myself, but for, for others as well. So kind of connecting people that I think, um, you know, have some, some synergy or would have some synergy. Um, it just, you know, it works. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. And I do want to tell you one other thing um, that I, I should have mentioned out the gate. I'm interviewing the catch.me um, co-founder tonight at seven o'clock. So you guys want to make sure that you tune back in for that because I think it's going to be really eye-opening for us. All right. Who wants some questions? Thank you, Heather. Thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, I love Shalene. So see, I mean, she's mentioning me now. She's just create your tribe by being real. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. We need to do our hangout. Yes, Jilly Sue, cunt. let's do that. In fact, wait till you see what I have set up for tonight's webinar, or I'm sorry, interview guys. I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm not at my office, so I didn't have my regular uh, setup but I think I have something even better. So I'm excited. I only have 2,700 followers. That's okay. That's the neat part. Let me tell you guys real quick. I've, I've told this story on several scopes before. I don't know if you guys know Alex uh, Khan, I believe is his name. And maybe somebody will be kind enough to pop in that knows who I'm talking about will pop in his username. Um, I think it's Alex Khan. But anyway, he's huge here on Periscope, does amazing things, has, a, has built a uh, very large audience here on Periscope. He had, you know, like less than 3,000 followers on Twitter when he started. And now he's got 35,000 Twitter followers. So you don't have to have a big, a big audience to get started on Periscope or a lot of followers. You just have to show up and do a lot of the things that I just outlined. Yes, Khan, K-H-A-N, Alex Khan. We'll talk next week. Yes, let's do it, Jilly Sue. What if you draw a blank on a scope? Just own it. <laughs> Oops, 
I, I, you know, I do that all the time. I mean, that's what makes us real guys. Um, I mean, you know, things like that happen. It's okay. I have a hundred more followers on scope than Twitter. That's guys. Another thing I want to say as it relates to how many, it's not how many, honestly. I mean, I know it's easy. You say, well, geez, Kim, it's easy for you to say, but it's not. I started where you guys were too. I mean, I st even on Twitter, I started Big Fat Zero. You know, I've just been on there longer and I've been working it. That's the, that's the thing, guys. Okay. The tips again, Mandy, uh, since you're, if you're just brand new, let me, um, yes, quality, not quantity. Let me run through this, the tips again. Essentially there were, there were 10, but three were kind of just groundwork tips. Uh, professional photo, good bio, uh, connect uh, to Twitter instead of using a phone number. But the 10 major tips were start with a great title because that's what br attracts people to your scopes. Uh, make sure you check the Twitter icon so it's tweeted. Your scope is tweeted uh, to Twitter. Ask for the share when you start your scope. Ask for the follow when you start your scope. Um, engage with others uh, on other people's scopes. It's huge. It's a, a great way to connect and engage with, uh, with other people that were, are probably targeted even instead of just randomly, you know, hoping somebody bumps into you. And then you have to bring it. You have to have great content on your scopes. And then last but certainly not least, my number one tip is collaborate with one another or form collaborations. Thank you, Mr. Simple Media. Engage, engage, engage. I always say this too. Engage, 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 rinse and repeat. Do it constantly, all the time. It's what drives so much of social. Tracy, well, I'll just give you an example. You mentioned how many Twitter followers you have. I have 377 Twitter, 377,000 Twitter followers. I don't have anywhere near that following on Periscope yet. I'm going to get there though. How do you, how do you, how the heck do you talk and read at the same time? It does take some practice. Let me just tell you, when I first started, I was like, okay, let me, I was peering at the screen. It does take a little bit of practice. You get, it, it gets easier. Okay. How to add Twitter? Um, did, how, well, did you connect with your Twitter account initially? If you didn't, you can still, you can still do that. That's kind of a complicated question, but um, shoot me a, twi a tweet and I'll be happy to answer that. How long have you been on Periscope? For about, I, I downloaded the Periscope app day one, but uh, active in, in building my community and trying to provide value here, um, about six weeks, seven weeks maybe. What kind of mic am I using? I'm using a Rode, R-O-D-E. You can't engage with 377,000 Twitter followers. Actually, I do um, do a pretty good job with it. I'm like fanatical about uh, engagement. And, um, and I, um, I try very hard to engage with my, my Twitter followers. It's like my, my thing. Um, well, I'm so glad you're here, Renee. What do you think about Periscope? How many scopes a week? I do two or three a day, guys. That doesn't mean you have to do two or three a day. I just think there's such an opportunity um, as kind of in the forefront of, of being on the leading edge of Periscope right now for us to build community, show up here. It's not crowded yet. So a lot of people um, that may not have big communities already on social have a, an amazing opportunity, in my opinion, to do great things here. Okay, what's up? Let's see, how do you ask for sponsors on Periscope? I, I heard someone say you can do that. Yes, you can, and there's a variety of ways to do it. I actually teach that uh, in my Periscope course, uh, which is, again, if you guys are interested in Periscope for Business, it's scopingforbiz.com. I'm so glad that you're here, Shelly. Awesome. I have multiple Twitter accounts. Do I create a scope for each? Only if you want to. I mean, you know, I don't know what your business model is exactly. Um, it's hard, in my opinion, to manage multiple uh, accounts, much less add two more um, to it. So it just depends on how you want to handle it. 
it is hard to find time to do everything. So I, the, the comment was it's hard to find time to do everything that you need to do on social media. So let me just address that real quick, guys. Um, social media does take time and it takes work. You know, a lot of people plop down and say that, think that it's going to be the magic bullet for their business. And, um, and they spread themselves way too thin. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with social media, then I would suggest that you just stick to one or two places until you master those one or two. You know, you want to choose a place, a social platform that has your ideal client there, your ideal customer, uh, and just dig in and, you know, start building relationships and, and get comfortable with the platform. Don't try to do it all because it's, it is hard and it's work to do it right. So anybody that says it's easy, it's free, but it's not free from a time standpoint. It does take time and effort. Shelly asks, how many scopes? I think about 80, 85, Shelly. How do you figure out what subject you'd like to scope about was the question. Um, I can do, I've done a, a, ran, a bunch of things uh, from a random thought to, uh, you know, seeing a question that somebody asked me and I thought, well, well, I, I get this question a lot. Let me get on Periscope and answer it. So I've done that to being a little bit more organized, like tonight's scope, for example, is a little bit, I was a little bit more organized. I made a list because I wanted to stay on track because it was seven things. It wasn't like I was just talking about one, uh, one thing. Um, so it depends. I have done a variety of things. To, from literally a split thought to, you know, a little bit more organized. I do, uh, the question is, do you use your scopes on other platforms, YouTube, Facebook? Um, I've only shared one uh, scope so far on Facebook, although I intend to do more. In fact, we're in a big way of trying to figure out who on my team is going to be responsible <laughs> for repurposing all of the content that I'm creating here on Periscope. Um, so I, but, but I do have a YouTube channel where I'm trying to share all of my scopes. We have some up there already, but we'll be putting more up there as well. You definitely want to repurpose them, in my opinion. I'm huge on the repurposing end of content, for sure. I think that, why, why do all this stuff if we can't leverage it in multiple ways, right? Come on our, our serious show and tell lots of people. Okay, reach out to me. Let's talk about it. Can you give us examples of collaborations on Periscope? Yes. Um, I've collaborated with a couple of people so far, um, well, multiple ones, frankly, but Susan, Subi Zimmerman and I, uh, collaborated, did a joint Periscope. Um, we actually, she, she ended up being an affiliate for my Periscope course, um, and made a ton of money, you know, just sharing my course with, uh, with her community. And then, um, I've done, uh, in fact, I'm in the pro middle of, I have done in, in the middle of some uh, additional, uh, collaborations with Ryan Steinolfson. I have a hard time saying his last name. He knows it, so I don't feel like I have to be hush hush about it, but I, I do struggle to say his last name. And uh, we're in the middle of doing some things uh, as well, and I'm excited about some of those things. Um, I've done um, collaborations with uh, Pinterest, a Pinterest expert. You know, I had her, I interviewed her. I'm interviewing, um, you know, um, the co-founder co-founder of Catch uh, Head, HQ tonight, which I'm really excited about. So seven o'clock tonight, if you guys um, can can tune into that, I think you'll you'll get a lot of value out of that. I'm so interested in an affiliate for your Periscope pro program. Well, shoot me an, your email, guys. We do have it whitelisted, so we're approving people who can um, can be affiliates for it. But just shoot me uh, via Twitter your email, and um, and we'll get an email out to you with instructions on how to become an affiliate. Uh, what are your tips for instant viewers? What do you mean, Chris? What are my tips for instant viewers? I'm not sure. What, you're, what you mean about that. Do you interview in real time uh, through Skype? So yes, it is real time and through Skype. I've also done Google Plus Hangouts. They work as well. My Twitter is Kim Garst. How many hours till 7 p.m.? That's a great question. Um, it is, oh goodness, I can't even see a clock. Anybody know what time it is, Eastern Standard Time right now? I would say about six. So maybe an hour-ish? Hey, Ryan, I was just talking about you, dude. I admitted that I have a hard time saying your last name. Okay, so it's about six, so roughly an hour, and I'm going to interview um, the founder, co-founder of Catch HQ or Catch.me. Okay.
Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to jump off of here, um, try to get set up for the next scope, but I appreciate you guys. And I seriously appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me. So take care. God bless. Hopefully I'll see you in about an hour.